In this import, we will have our spreadsheet contain only information about the legal entities. So in the event we don't have a spreadsheet that has those paired relationships where we show a parent and a subsidiary, we just have a list of entities, you could also just start with that list of entities in LexChart and then quickly create the relationships. So that's how we're gonna create a second chart of Delta Airlines using just a list of entities. So here we have another spreadsheet of Delta Airlines and we just list the entity name. Notice that in some cases it's a legal entity, it could be a person, it could be an informal collection like these directors or the um, uh, officers, for example, or services uh, that we created. So really any sort of entity, whether it's legal or individual or informal, that you want to be a card on the chart can be in this column here. And then we've added some data about these cards. So I've got the jurisdiction on some of them. I have the title of their job on others, maybe a role as it were. And again, each of these entities can have more than one element. I could have many more columns of data, but what we're gonna do in LexChart is just import this information, see what that creates for us, and then build those connections to really polish off the chart. So with my list of entities, let's go to LexChart. Again, normally we would create a new chart, but when we start with an import, we wanna click the import button and we're gonna choose our file. And we're just gonna say Delta Entities and upload that. And here you'll see we have those entities we just added in our spreadsheet, the jurisdiction of some of them, the title of others, the role of others. And what we wanna do is toggle this to say cards only. So the reason for that is that when you do that, LexChart is gonna give you different options here. So we're just gonna ask which ones are cards, which ones are data. And so we're gonna say, well, these are the cards, and then this is data and data and data. So you could have multiple columns of entities, but we tend to recommend just having a single column mostly to make it easier for individuals to sort of know what they're dealing with. But here we've got cards and then data about each of those. And we're just gonna import. So now we have our basic cards up and running um, and we wanna start creating connections among these. So there are a couple of ways to create connections in LexChart. We have an entire tutorial on that, but I'm just gonna show you with this data from this perspective uh, how you could do that. So one way is to just create add new link. And so I can come here and all of those cards are just available to me here. And these connections, so this is the parent I've just added, and now I'm gonna select the children. All of the other cards are right here. And this is searchable, so I can say Sky Miles Holdings. And then if I wanted to add information about that, I could say, and have that information on the line. And if I simply save this, we have over here that single connection. Sky Miles is 100% owner in Sky Miles Holdings. Again, this is informal, it's not a legal entity, it's not even from Delta Airlines, it's just us using this as an opportunity to show this grouping or collections and you'll see the value is there on the line. And we could just keep repeating that. So I can just say add new and we'll do sign miles and we'll do sign miles and sign miles IP. And there we've got a second one uh, for us also. So now we've got both of those. And again, I could keep doing that one off. The more powerful way to create structure quickly in LexChart is to use the chart modal. And this is an innovative interface component that allows you to create structure and navigate the entire chart uh, and uh, until you're done. So I'm going to come in here and we'll start anywhere you want, but I'm just gonna start with Sky Miles. And you'll notice that I've got Sky Miles in the middle. I have nothing above it because we haven't created that. Uh, but the two entities I've already linked are down here. And I can add another one, Sky Miles IP Finance and Sky Miles IP Holdings. And now I've created those four connections. And up above here, we wanna add Delta Airlines proper. And so now if I go back to the chart and just see what I've done, notice I'm gonna just remove um, 
uh, let's edit this. I'm just going to remove that for clarity. So you'll see we've got Delta Airlines, SkyMiles, and this collection of entities under the SkyMiles group. And this is a very quick way to create some structure quickly. And we can simply go through and do more of these. If I select Delta Airlines, it will actually bring that into focus. And if you want to move up and down the chart, all you have to do is click on the card and notice it moves Sky Miles to the middle and now all of the Sky Miles entities are down here. And if I select one of them, I can now add children or other parents to it and I can go back up to Delta Airlines. So that's how to create a chart by importing just the card information or legal entity information. We hope you've enjoyed this. Come back for more.